OK to remove the username or personal folder from the Windows Start menu. This is what I'm talking about here, your personal folder up at the top. In a corporate environment, you might not want that there. So right click your taskbar, select Properties, Start menu, Customize. Scroll down the list until you see Personal Folder. See, by default, it displays Link. If you change that to Don't Display This Item, click OK, apply that. OK. Now, when you open your Start menu, you'll see it's no longer displayed. Now, if at any time you want to turn that back on, you can simply do the reverse. Right click the Taskbar Properties, Start menu. Customize. Go down to personal folder and set it back to displays link. Apply. OK. And we should see it back again. There it is. That's fine on a machine by machine basis, but if you want to do this in a corporate environment, you're looking at using group policy. So over on my domain controller, if I go start, administrative tools, group policy management. Now I'm going to put this on the default domain policy. If you're doing this in anger, you're probably creating your policy just for this, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to edit this one here. Now remember, it's a GPP, not a GPO. So you'll find under User Configuration, Preferences, Control Panel Settings, Start Menu. If you right-click and create a new Start Menu, Vista and Later, this should look quite familiar. If you scroll down here, you'll see Personal Folder again. Change it to Don't Display This Item, Apply, OK. You'll see there's now one option configured on this group policy. If I close that down and I jump over onto another Windows 7 box, now if I look initially on my Start menu, you'll see I'm logged in as Administrator and the personal folder is still there. That's because the policy hasn't yet applied. By default, group policies will take 90 minutes plus a figure of between 0 and 30 minutes, so anywhere up to 2 hours. So what I'm doing now is I'm forcing the policy on this client machine with a GP update space forward slash force. That says it's completed successfully. I'm just going to exit command line. Hopefully now the policy is applied on the start menu, you'll see the administrator folder has now disappeared. Don't forget to visit us at www.peatnetlive.com. Thank you very much.